All right, so today was day one. I had the paper still over here right as I came in that had to get ripped up, ripped up and out. Uh, these are the two half-built kind of husky stations in the front that I'm just using for basic work. I was supposed to have a computer here and a computer there, but the machine, the USPS never delivered it. They wound up bringing it, returning it. Uh, this is where the t only two shelves that I got from Global Industrial are. That one is one of the old ones. I was hoping to have a bunch more of these. So for now, I literally, I just wrote the labels for each slot number because my old store is a slot number system. Paul just got his desk taken over an hour ago. These are all the machines that I'm kind of using for parts. So if someone shows up and I don't have, you know, at the very least I can run over here and test and see if, you know, if it's their trackpad versus trackpad cable and stuff like that. I have a nice little selection here. This is all the stuff that was customer recycled junk. These are all the boxes that we, we actually literally right before we had to open, we had to take all these boxes that were in the front from stuff that we unpacked and just dra dragged it back here because we don't have garbage pickup set up yet with uh, the carding company. As you know, we have a interesting relationship with our carding company. So that's back here. Uh, Paul just hooked up my lights uh, about half an hour ago. So now I have a light above me. Before I didn't have a light. So for those border pair videos I did, what was providing me with a light was this, that, and that. I don't have acoustic panels in here yet. So I kind of have these, these three over here from before, but they don't do anything. They're too low. Uh, you know, I need that to get covered for it to actually do anything. That's the ultrasonic cleaner down there. And the thing that I think is really important to get across, I remember when I, you know, opened my, like this store for the first time, the other store, and I had nothing but, uh, a patio door in the front. Like, I realize that this is not set up properly because it's not done. But I'm not going to not s start doing work because of that. That wouldn't make sense. It's a, so the thing is that there's only a few ways to do a move like this. So I could either move everything from that location to this location just immediately, which I think is a mess, especially since there's about 600 in-progress tickets over there. There's six pages of tickets in Repair Shop, which means somewhere between five to 600 active tickets going on there. And I don't want to deal with the mess of moving them. So what I did is I changed the address on the website, on Google Places, and on Yelp, and on Facebook to represent this location. I've removed all references to 186 First Avenue online so that a new customer is going to show up here. And this is kind of where, you know, I have to make sure that I deal with them in a manner where they don't care how messy it is. They just care that they're getting good service and that they're being dealt with immediately and someone is explaining the problem to them and not BSing them and servicing them the moment they walk in, not we'll just put it in a queue. That, I have to remember that that is what matters over the place looking really nice because that's what I used to do when I was working in a park. That's what I used to do when I was working in a basement. I remember, you know, if you read my reviews from mid to late 2011, you had to walk past Club Rebels trash via the freight elevator. After you walked past all their trash, which smelled awful, you had to walk down into the, you had to open this really creepy looking basement door. You had to walk down this dungeon that reeked of weed and other crap. You had to walk down a dark hallway that had no light in it to another drawer that had no window to a room that had one incandescent light bulb in the ceiling. And that's it. That looked like, a, a, you know, some sort of war bunker. And I dealt with that every day. So this place is not perfectly set up yet, but in order to st re like start getting the other place clean so I can move out of it, I have to transition to here. I can't wait for this place to be perfect, and because if I wait for this place to be perfect, then there's still going to be uh, crap going to the other place for a long, longer period of time. I'm going to have to stay there for a longer period of time. That doesn't really make sense. So it's going to take me a few weeks to set up this place. But it's also going to take me a few weeks to clean up all the stuff at the old place. So I'm kind of doing a crossfade here where as this place gets set up and opens, the old place is going to have business die down because we're telling the customers on the phone, don't bring stuff to 186 First Avenue, bring the stuff to this new store. Don't bring anything to 186 First, bring it here. All the new business is coming in here, like that MacBook that's on the desk over there, or those MacBooks that are in the shelves. Those are all MacBooks that came in here today. All of these are MacBooks that showed up today, as well as the ones in my office. Those are MacBooks not go So I want the people from the old store to be able to clean up all the old stuff in those slots. So if we are moving stuff from the old store to the new store, it's going to be a minimal amount. It's not going to be five or 600 tickets because moving five or 600 tickets from there to here at the same time that we're setting this up, 
That's bad. I think that that's bad. I don't want to do that. Uh, at the same time, waiting until the this place is perfectly set up to do business out of it, I think, is also bad. Because then that means that um, it's going to take even that much longer to move from the old store to the new one. I don't want pe- I know that there's going to be stragglers that are still going to be going to the old store because the address was on the website, the address was on Yelp, and the address was on Google. And I know it's going to take a lot of time for them to stop doing that from my experience moving to different locations in the past. So I want to get all of that stuff done. Uh, you know, I want to start that process as quickly as possible of people showing up here rather than there. So, yep, I opened today, and it looked like this, and I didn't care, and honestly, none of the people that walked in cared. They were, they, every single person that walked in looked, laughed, and was really happy that someone took out their multimeter, their microscope, and got, and got to work on their specific problem the moment they walked in without delay and gave them a non-BS answer. But for now, this is what it actually looks like.